Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you. Good morning. Um, I'm recording this just a little bit before I plan to go live. And this is regarding the U Profit video I did two days ago. Um, in that video, I was explaining how to use Rhythmic to basically uh, prevent you from making mistakes that will accidentally blow the account. And how to do that, I was talking about setting your loss limit and also setting your um, max order quantity, um, but I have a correction. So after a ton of research, reaching out to Rhythmic, reaching out to Uprofit, I tried everything I could. Um, I was misinformed. You cannot set your max order quantity on Rhythmic. And I feel like it's on... I don't know. I'm I'm not very happy about it. And I've reached out to Rhythmic, reached out to Uprofit. It's not a Uprofit thing. I actually tried to do it on my Apex accounts. And I also couldn't change my max order quantity for that either. So it's something to do with Rhythmic. And I actually did reach out to Rhythmic again. And just kind of trying to get clarity on why we cannot set our max order quantity as a user you know, in Rhythmic. Um, and if someone out there watches this and it knows how to do it, please let me know. Um, I tried everything. I'll show you kind of what I thought worked, but it doesn't. Um, but yeah, this is just a video to go over kind of how to set up your parameters and help you with you profit and just trying. There's still some things we can do that will help you from making mistakes. Uh, but the max order quantity, I was... Yeah, I thought you could do it, but you can't. So my apologies for that information, uh, inaccurate information. Um, but let's just go right, dive right in. <clears throat> okay, so here, you know, obviously it's on your account. Uh, also, I just want to, just a little tip. If you right click here and add remove columns, you can choose what kind, what columns will show here um, and what don't just by checking this and unchecking it. So in case you were wondering, um, right click here and go view risk parameters. And then you want to go over to this tab here. Let me actually change my font size so you guys can see. All right. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. So this now, you want to make sure you're in this, in the screen all the way. The tab risk parameters set by the trader. That is what you want to be, be on. Um, okay, so, so the first thing that you can do, and I, I changed some of this. Um, this actually is not accurate. Okay, so you can set on when you don't want to trade. So, for example, if you don't want to be trading after hours, and I know for a, for a time there, I had actually done that um, just to prevent, prevent me from trading after hours. Um, but, yeah, this is where you can set that. But then auto-liquidate, just double-click in here, click on Enable, and then click on loss limit and then put in the li auto liquidate threshold basically this is what your loss limit is now keep in mind the u profit daily loss limit is 2500 but that includes commissions so this doesn't figure in the commissions so if you're doing a lot of trading and you set your loss limit to you know 2500 you know, that's going to cause an issue. You, you want to make sure you have plenty of buffer and, you know, obviously make this whatever you want. For me, I made it 1500 for my evaluation account. I'll make that a lot lower once I'm in my funded account. Um, and then, so the other thing I think is important is, so auto liquidate at this time. So you profit you cannot trade after 4.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're in a trade past 4.10 p.m., 
you're going to lose your account. So I always set it at, you know, give myself two minutes of flexibility here just in case, you know, for some reason I'm in a trade and I get distracted or something that it auto liquidates that position at 408. Just, I mean, that those are parameters that are not that difficult to put in place. I would highly recommend it. Um, hopefully you'll never need it, but it's kind of there as a safety precaution. Okay, now this, I'll show you what I thought worked. If you right click here and do add remove columns, there is a max order quantity that you can show. And you can see here, max order quantity is set at 120, but I can't change it. Um, that's where I was wrong. I thought you could change this, um, but you cannot. Even here, uh, add remove columns, max order quantity. I thought, you know, maybe you just have to change it to the specific symbol that you're trading. And again, you cannot change this. Arr. So very disappointed. Um, I'm, I'm just disappointed that you can't do that. Um, and it does appear like it's a rhythmic issue because even with my Apex accounts, I still could not um, get it to work. So hopefully they'll come out and make that an option. I think it's kind of dumb that that isn't an option. Um, being that we can set our own risk parameters for our stop loss, we should be able to set our max order quantity as well. So Rhythmic, if you're out there and you're watching this, I reached out to you, but I'm just, this needs to be an option. This needs to be an option. So anyway, that's it. Um, that's all I wanted to go. Oh, one more thing. I had someone asking um, how you can do like, how is it possible to have your Rhythmic open and also have your Ninja Trader open? And let me show you real quick. So if you go to your connections, you can see right now I'm connected to my Apex. If you go to configure and then just, you know, select the account like here, make sure this plugin mode four market data is unchecked if that is unchecked then you can have rhythmic open and ninja trader open at the same time um but just so you know also you do not need to have rhythmic open and ninja trader open in order for these rules to work i can you know now that i have put everything in also just make sure you hit apply down here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, hit apply and then OK. So I can close this and then trade my U profit. And it'll follow those rules. You don't have to have rhythmic open in order to follow those rules. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. If, I, if you have any more questions, I want to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Um, but that is all I wanted to, to do in this video. So thank you everyone for watching and, uh, take care and God bless.